Day 14 of our Saxophone Advent Calendar Challenge and I'm here at King's College Cambridge, probably the most iconic building in Cambridge. Uh, it's the place where Carols from Kings comes from, which most people in the world have heard of. But I've come here to celebrate Saxophone Player 14 because he gave his last public performance with his most successful group here at King's just two or three years ago, the Hilliard Ensemble. Of course, I'm talking about Norwegian saxophonist Jan Garbrek. Jan Garbrecht was born in Norway in 1947 and came to prominence in the early 70s with George Russell and also with some of the European avant-garde musicians that were knocking around them. One thing that strikes me about Garbrecht is he has a very unique, distinctive sound. And I wrote a blog post after I first heard him play live in Belfast with the Hilliard Ensemble back in I think, 2011. And one thing that struck me about it was the thing I'd fallen into the trap of, and I'm guilty of falling into the trap on this sax advent calendar, is that the saxophone was invented by a Belgian. It was kind of rose to prominence through French military bands. It really came, sort of found its home and grew in Paris. And yet it seems that the Americans have sort of dominated the sound of it and all the greatest players all tend to be American. That's primarily because obviously as a jazz saxophonist myself, I will tend to focus on those that play jazz saxophone. And now I do appreciate that Jan Garbrecht maybe, he did play jazz, I mean his recordings with Keith Jarrett are exceptional. But what I love about it is he has a distinctive you know, Scandinavian sound on his instrument. You know, if you listen to Scandinavian folk music, obviously the melodies are there, but I think he just has a very different way of approaching playing the saxophone than most of the other players on this list. In 1994, Garbrecht teamed up with the Cambridge-based ancient music ensemble, the Hilliard Ensemble, vocal ensemble, doing sort of Gregorian chant. And they decided to try and see what would happen if they put a soprano saxophone over the top of the chant. They liked the results, they recorded it, and that album, Officium, became the highest selling classical album. It even think, entered the pop charts in 1994. It was that successful. It was a phenomenally successful enterprise, which I have been really inspired by, and I've sort of done similar things in St. Paul's Cathedral, Ely Cathedral. Well, you can hear some of the recordings as you heard in the beginning. Tell you what, I'm three pound ten. Then you go and take that. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Whatever the Tobenti Christmas plan, please. Uh, in if there's any seats, which I think there might be, so thank you. Daylight robbery.
KW10ZBZ. Aren't you an absolute? Six pound ninety to park for two and a bit hours is ridiculous, but positives to get some amazing photos. Obviously, I've done a great vlog. Hopefully, for you, or the start of a great vlog. And uh, as all self-employed people like to say, or I like to say a lot to Katie, it's tax deductible. Oh, so I forgot to put the microphone on for that last bit. You know how I've always said, if you're a regular vlog watcher, let me move into the light. That I wish I had a way of knowing whether, whether it's on or not. Anyway. What I intend to do, I just put the horns away, that's what I was telling you about. I want to move this sofa over here, clear this desk, move this desk over here so I can have a permanent vlogging station here. Let's move you this way around so we're not weird light. And, you know, the lighting will be right and I've got a desk to work at so I can show you because it didn't work over there. So, let's see. The reason I said I'm putting the horns away, of course, uh, if you watch this vlog, uh, when I had a bit of a disaster with my Mark VI. Uh, last time I tried to move the studio around, so hopefully, now everything's packed away, everything will be fine. sure if I just made a big mistake. I feel like I'm miles away from you now and obviously I'm going to have to do a lot of tidying up over here. Um, I think I'll use that other table. <coughs> This looks a bit better. Happier with this. Oh, better not do that though. Obviously, I've got a lot of tidying up to do. Jose's on the case as well. So I'm gonna carry on tidying. Actually, I'm gonna go get the kids from school and then I have got to go in for this gig. Just about arrive at the gig. I'll say it again, Waze is the most incredible app in the world. Cambridge was bunged up with traffic. It's taken me this back way I would never have known. And I've arrived at the gig far faster than I thought I would do. So I'm gonna have to write a tune for Waze one day. Not as in, yeah, Waze, never mind. Um, anyway, at the gig, can't promise to be able to be playing much Garbrecken-style inspired stuff on this gig, uh, but certainly I'm looking forward to playing Hot Numbers. It's a nice little cafe, um, coffee shop, bar uh, in Cambridge. Has always supports some really good live music. Thank you, Waze. <laughs> Thank you. 
Gig done. First time I've played in a bassless trio for a long time. Uh, it took a bit of getting used to it first, so I hope it didn't come out too badly on the live stream. Obviously I can edit this, I can't edit the live stream. Heading home, so please make sure you check out yesterday's vlog here. And this is what I was, hang on, that's the wrong way around. Hang on, no it isn't, that's yesterday's vlog, this is what's happening this time last year. Thank you very much for watching, the light's gone out already, bye bye!